Hello everyone, welcome to another Go High Level video tutorial. Now in this video tutorial, I will show you how to onboard your client within your sub account on a Go High Level. I will also show you a couple of things on how to set up onboarding and how to basically create an ecosystem for your clients to log into. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to learn more about the Go High Level, subscribe to our channel and hit the first link down in the description if you want to join a free seven day trial for your Go High Level account. If you never use Go High Level, make sure to go down below and check it out. So uh, yeah, basically in this video, as I said, I will be showing you client onboarding, how you can set it up. Um, I will definitely show you some simple things that you can do. Uh, you know, more high level stuff, I will leave that for another video. So as you can see right here, what we first need to do if we want to onboard a client into go high level is to create a sub account. So go to your sub accounts right here. And uh, you will not have any sub accounts if you never added a sub account. I already have my uh, one uh, sub account that is going to be deleted soon. Uh, but this is just for this uh, tutorial video. Then all you have to do is add a sub account right here. Now, once you are adding a sub account, you need to select a snapshot. A snapshot is basically kind of like a template uh, for your client, uh, already pre-made template that you can use. Now, this can be for attorneys right here. It can be for chiropractors, dentists, uh, marketing agencies, uh, pest controls, uh, stuff like that. And this is already pre-made for your particular particular client. Sorry. So basically, let's say we are dealing with a CrossFit snapshot or let's say we're dealing with a gym snapshot. Uh, as you can see, you can click no more here. If you want to know more, uh, you know, if you want to know more how our Example Facebook ads are looking for this particular niche. You can also see the setup guide as well. Uh, and you can also see an overview of a video tutorial right here. As you can see, we have a video tutorial on this page right here. Now let's go back and let's go and let's select and continue with this snapshot. Once we select and continue, we will basically be uh, redirected to this page right here. This is kind of like a Google Maps. Uh, within go high level. Now here you can find your client. So let's find one gym just for the sake of this tutorial. Let's just type in gym right here. Uh, and as you can see, we have a lot of gyms. Let's let's just type in gold's gym here. And as you can see, we have gold's gym in New Jersey, USA. So let's click on that. You can also add account manually for your clients. If you go add account manually, you will need to fill in all the details and information that is necessary to add your client. And I will show you these details in a second. So as you can see, once we click on this, we can go here and we can obviously confirm if this is it by scrolling out. Okay, this is it. We can go here and hit this gold gym. And then as you can see, these are the, these are basically informations that you need to put in. Um, if you want to add it manually, these informations will be empty. But since we add it automatically, these informations are filled in, as you can see right here, we have the phone number, website, uh, zip postal code, state and everything like that. So as you can see, we have first name here. So let's just put first name John Smith, last name Smith and email address will be John Smith at gmail.com. Now, once we have that set up, what we can do is we can hit save. We can also change the time zone if we want to, for example, this one, and then we can hit save. Now, once that is saved, as you can see, we'll have to wait just a little bit. And this is going to be our back end of our sub account. So as you can see right here, we can see the back end. We can see also reselling side as well here. We can uh, connect Stripe to resell WordPress for our clients. We can also put the price uh, that our client will pay uh, and then our profit will be calculated right here. We also have emails, um, you know, current limit, increased limit. We can do that as well. Uh, but overall, this is good for now. You have general information as well here and you can add social profiles or social media profiles right here as well. Now here you can load the snapshot, delete snapshot or pause your sub account. Uh, loading snapshot means that you will load already pre-made template or snapshot for gyms if you already have. So if you click load snapshot here, we will be able to go and add our snapshot. Now, as you can see 
here are some of the snapshots that are available. We can go and type in gym. And as you can see, we already have that snapshot. So we will not go and proceed. Now, next up, what you will need to do is you will need to go switch to your sub account here. So make sure to switch to the sub account. Uh, you will need to switch to the sub account just so that you can see how your clients will see the sub account and so that you can edit the sub account as well. Now, as you can see, this is the sub account for your client. Uh, your client will be able to see opportunities, pipeline value, conversion rate, everything right here, workflows and everything right here. Now, let's say we want to edit uh, more and first thing that you, we, that you need to do and that we need to do is to add a client so that you know, he or she can see this dashboard. So first of all, go to settings, make sure you switch to your uh, snapshot right here and your sub account, go to settings, and then from settings, go to my staff right here. Now from my staff right here, what you will need to do is you will need to add an employee. You can also go to Yeah, you can go here and add an employee. And as you can see, this will be uh, basically an employee or your client. You will need to add the first name, the last name, email, phone number, uh, extension for the phone number, you know, country code. Then you will need to add the pass password and then the client will be able to go and log in with that password within their sub account that you just created for them. Now, one thing to note here is make sure to fill all these permissions as well. You know, what client can do, what client cannot do. Uh, for example, you know, if you don't want client to go and uh, mess around with settings, make sure to turn that off. And then uh, you have user roles. This is very important. Make sure your client is user. It's not admin, it's user. And make sure that you have call and voicemail settings. Uh, you can leave that uh, off for now. And user availability make sure user is again right here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, then you have user configuration calendar. That's pretty much it. Uh, just make sure that user permissions are edited and the user role is user. Now, once you've done this, you can go and hit save. And uh, basically, obviously, right now I have to go and fill out fill this out, but I will not do it because I want to save time for this tutorial. Uh, but basically, once you've done this, you will be able to go and add your client to the, uh, you know, add your client or add your yeah client to your uh, sub account. Now, one more thing, uh, if you cannot add your client to the sub account here, you can switch to your agency view. And from the agency view, you can go to settings, team, and then from team, you can add an employee. As you can see, I already added up an employee. And I think this is much better in terms of adding a client. So you can go here, fill this out, and then user permissions, make sure to you know put those permissions here. And then user roles, as you can see, user type, agency, or an account. I would go with an account for a client, and then I would go for a user. And then here, I would put my client into a sub account. So here, as you can see, Gold's Gym, then once we do done that, hit save. Obviously, we have to fill this out. So my recommendation would be to switch to agency, go to team, and then do everything right here. Now, second thing that you can do is you can do phone integrations. Now, as you can see, you can use a lead connector phone system uh, to actually go and add, uh, you know, to actually go and add basically phone numbers. And as you can see, you have better cost with real time billing, increased security with better delivery rates. Telephony management made easy. You can also use Twilio as well and connect Twilio if that is something um, you know that your clients need. You also have sub account settings here. So for example, as you can see, Gold's Gym, we have here, we can go and we can edit that particular sub account. Obviously, we can log in now with Twilio to use and complete this setup completely. Now, obviously, these are just uh, things that you can do, right? This depends on the client that you have, what type of client it is and all that good stuff, right? So let's go back and let's go back to switch right here and you can switch to Gold's Gym back here and this is our snapshot. So as you can see here, you can now obviously go and connect Google My Business, you can connect a Facebook uh, leads with CRM, you can generate leads from your website by connecting website uh, or web chat widget, you can connect your Stripe account this is extremely important as well. And you can quickly add one or more team members right here. So if you want to add a team member, we just go here and add a team member by sending an invite. Uh, we also have dashboard, which this is something that we already covered. 
Then we have conversations. Here you can add conversations. You can see conversations. Um, and then you have you know templates for the conversations, stuff like that. You can add templates right here. Uh, calendars, you have calendars so you can see, you know, booking an appointment, appointments, you have that as well. You have contacts right here. Uh, this is kind of like a CRM. Um, you have contacts and you can filter out the contacts right here. You can add a contact by going here and adding a contact. This is great for tracking your sales data for your client. Then we have opportunities here. So opportunities, um, this could be, you know, something like CRM as well. Uh, you have new leads, hot leads, book, booking requests, booking confirmed. You can add new leads right here as well. Um, and you can see the, the value of the leads and everything like that. Then you also have payments. Uh, obviously, you can send in an invoices right here. You can add new invoice. You have orders as well as subscriptions, transactions, products. You can create a product within the sub account. Uh, and that product can be later down the line added to your invoices and you can also add them to the funnels so that you know your client can go and you can track your clients uh, data and you know selling points and stuff like that you also have marketing right here um, this is good for social planners managing your social accounts or your client social accounts you have emails campaigns templates so this is all in one ecosystem obviously this video would be like one hour long if I showed you everything but this is pretty much a part of what you can do, uh, you know, while onboarding a client on uh, go high level. Now, if you have any questions or comments, definitely comment down below and definitely check out the first link in the description if you want to get a seven day free trial on go high level. It's uh, a great platform. Uh, we have been using it for some time for our agency and it has been a great, great help in growing our agency as well. So yeah, if you have any questions, comment down below and we'll see you in the next video.